Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Atten Risk. I'm here today to provide a presentation of something that I have been consistently working on since 2013. Very recently, I've gained access to a implementation of AES that works within Lua. Now, of course, you know, since I've been experimenting with different ways of encrypting, you know, Lua files in MTA, this one has just sort of, you know, pushed me off the edge and made MTA a Lua encryption possible. The system that I've made is better than the MTA compiler, in encryption at least. Now, the MTA compiler was released sometime around 2013, sometime around September. Now, the fatal problem with the compiler's encryption is the fact that anyone can decompile it. Anyone can decrypt the data. The reason why this is the case is because in every single MTASA server and client, you have access to the decryption key. Lua bytecode, or compiled Lua, when it's encrypted, is completely unreadable. For example, if I were to send you an encrypted message, like a scrambled message, you wouldn't be able to read it, unless, of course, you decrypt it. Now, with MTA, the same rule really applies. If you send encrypted RSA to the MTA server with no key to decrypt it, it'll ask you, what the fuck am I reading? So, in turn, you would need the key to actually decrypt the data. The trouble with this is that, when everyone has the key, then the data that you actually receive, anyone can unlock it. That means anyone can see your MTA scripts. I'm not going to explain how this process is done as not to make the problem even bigger with everyone under the sun decrypting MTA files. However, the problem is there, and it's not one that can just be fixed. I have provided a solution to this problem with Ale. With AL, you can encrypt your files with the AES algorithm, which is comparable to RSA. It works by taking in one server file and one client file and then encrypting them in AES. They can then be read by the reader, and the core will manage the AES decryption. I'll give you an example. Encode Lua files and then what you have are two files which are encrypted with AES or the advanced encryption standard and then the product of that is this now we have these encrypted files and MTA can't read this it's simply unreadable. If you try to load this directly into MTASA's memory, it would tell you that it's just garbage data. This is where the reader comes in. The reader will take in these files. We'll just copy and paste the both of them. And then it will decrypt them. I'll explain quickly how this system works. The server will read the key file, it will of course get all of the keys, which I'll have to change this one since it's wrong. What it will do is that it will decrypt everything, and then it will of course, in the case of the server, inject it straight into the server's memory. With the client, it's a little bit more complex since when people log in, they of course need the client Lua files. So I've developed a system where you can of course stuff code into the client table and then send that off to the client for them to then, you know, of course, unload the data from that table and load it into the memory. This system works pretty well and I have not really had any problems with it yet. Allow me to demonstrate how the system works. Start ale reader.
Now as you can see, it first loaded into the server, which is this, and then it loaded into the client. I allowed for a delay between the server and the client to allow things to load up and work properly. This system is more secure than the MTA compiler is, simply because of the fact that you can use your own, you know, keys. You can protect these these files without having to, without anyone else having the key for them. With some modification, you can actually change this system to publicly distribute your own scripts. Again, all of this is available for free, all of the code is available to you to read and edit as you so choose, so there really is no limitation to what you can do with this system. I have uploaded it to GitHub and I've also made an MTA forum thread, however I do plan to upload this new updated version to GitHub very soon. Anyways, um, links are in the description, I hope you guys enjoy this video, I might have some better videos coming soon. But, I feel that at the moment this is just something I wanted to present to you guys as a possibly helpful tool. That's all and see ya. And also again, if you have an MTA file that's yours like a Lua C file, I can indeed decompile it. So, feel free to send me one, assuming of course it's compiled with the MTA compiler. That's all, see ya.